I'm always collecting things. Tickets, tags, wrappers, and receipts. Things considered to be trash or clutter. Sometimes I mix these things with my own trash or things that I hold dearly to me. By doing this, I create bridges between moments in this complex world and I, an artist striving to make sense of it all. We're finally here at the bridge. They do this, right? hey, bro. I went on a road trip to Kansas City, Missouri for a wedding with my family. We are an interesting bunch. I learned a lot of different things. They got to see more of my infatuation with collecting things. I didn't know why I did that until I started recording for this film. I love taking videos and pictures of people who I love, as it's nice to look back on momentous memories. But I think I need something malleable, tangible, destroyable. So I collect things. I tear them apart, sew them together, crumple and crinkle them, stick them on top of each other, and burn them to ashes. They become my everything, yet they are absolutely nothing. But I remember what it was like to find them. I remember what the sun looked like when I first held them. I remember who I was with, if we laughed, if I was excited. I read the words and feel a certain intimacy between myself and these objects, with strangers who don't even know I exist, and with lovers who make me want to remember everything. I make collages with found objects. I used pages from a book called Bridges of Madison County by Robert James Waller. It's about two people, Robert Kincaid, and Francesca Johnson, who fall in a romantic and timeless love, despite Robert's dedication to his bridge photography and Francesca's marriage and family. It's a unique love story set in Madison County, Iowa, a place my mom insisted we drive by and see. Waller said that Robert and Francesca were joined in an experience of uncommon and stunning beauty, an experience that will haunt them forever, and I find that bittersweet because even though it was a one-week affair, it was a passionate and caring experience that they both held on to until they were old and eventually died. It makes me think of the things in my life that I feel happy and passionate about, but are no longer with me. Should I live proudly, honored to remember and thrive, knowing that we were once connected? Or do the memories haunt me since they're gone? Can I still see them on the other side of the bridge, even though I know they'll never be on this side again? We got to visit the Roseman Bridge, the one Robert and Francesca fell in love on. It was a surreal and lovely night with my family. My photos came out really dark because we got there late, but I don't care. After knowing the story and piecing the meanings together, I felt powerful. I felt like I was present with people who I care about. <laughs> the car rides during the trip were an experience in themselves, especially since there was so much driving involved, and so many of us. Like many other families, my family takes a lot of pictures. There's something intriguing about posing together or asking people to pose for me. The muscle memory when one says to smile is uncanny, like an automatic emote meant to express happiness or fun. The muscle memory is a bridge in the way it transports you from one pose to others in the past. When was the last time you smiled? While organizing my pictures, I noticed I had a lot of what I call the mess-ups. These were off-kilter, blurry, random photos tucked away in a separate folder. They would probably never see the light of day unless it wasn't for this film. In these photos, I am still aiming I am still focusing the camera on my subject and deciding how to capture them. When taking pictures, we like to pamper the focus to show only what we want others to see. But the mess-ups tell us so much more. It's the environment, the energy, the culture, the people inside, and the connections between them. This is a film meant to make me think outside of its existence. It's an attempt to make sense of what is thrown at me, and what I willingly take in. This road trip that I went on with my family had one destination, the wedding. 
being there was a reminder to continue to preserve my culture, to preserve the moment and enjoy the time that I have here on earth. But we found ourselves having many adventures woven within our one destination journey. It was playing in the gas station parking lots and hanging out in our pajamas at night. It was singing along to our favorite childhood songs while driving down dusty roads and seeing the Roseman Bridge in all its romantic glory. The bridges that we cross will always get us to where we want to go, but crossing them is where we need to be. We build bridges, we don't burn bridges. That's my philosophy. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>